America is currently being abused by technologists. That is absolutely true. I can remember going to a therapist's office when I was transitioning my father to heaven, and I was spending time talking with him about the upcoming loss of him. And what I remember feeling when I was waiting in the waiting room that there was someone there from IU who was lying about his reason of being in that overall office, that he was a technologist actually hacking the computers of the therapist that I was seeing or another one that was there. And I just remember having that, uh, that overwhelming feeling from God that there was something wrong with this. At the same time, what I really feel is that technologists are often abusers of people's rights, their money, and their time. Because every time I go to look for some image that I need that is absolutely mine from a selfie or something from the past, I find it has been abused, cut, or clipped. Most of my images are set up to be utilized online. And what I'm finding is that someone has actually cut them to be more portrait images, and I didn't ask anyone to do that at any point in time. I'm also really miffed because someone keeps clipping my videos, and I have not authorized anyone to be on my video um, social media accounts. So I want to say to you, you little Satanist bastard, that I'm going to find you with God's help. But you're going to lose your life to your lie, thinking that you have rights over my life or anyone else. And what I know about people who live in poverty is they often like to have power that doesn't belong to them. And I see this every day in retail establishments, that the companies have done such a poor job in editing, not at all, but in educating their people. And I apologize for saying this, but it's an overall observation that I've almost made into a marketing study of data that I can account for the people that have been impacting my life in the interaction with local law enforcement that actually are creating technologically based stalking which is considered mobbing today and that the bastards of these communities if i fall asleep on the sidewalk with my narcolepsy are the people that are actually hispanic actually white young men who are foolish and are cutting my beard and i really get pissed off about that as would any man who has a length of a beard that he took his own time to grow but what I can say to you in America is that you have rights to your body and only you. And that body includes your heart, mind, and soul and anything that you do for your life. So when these technologists are around our people, impoverished mindsets often cause them to think that they have the right to hack your computer. And we know about that because we hear about that every day. Don't accept emails from this country. Don't interact on people who say, hey, your friend is locked up someplace. We need money. We know about this bastardization of our society. And I'm not unclear about this. All of us know this. We also have to protect our elderly from people who are solicitors trying to get information about where they live, where they have their money, and whatnot. And I'm pretty sure that people have had their bank accounts hacked even by the employees that live there. In the banks, I mean. So we have to be very careful because it's an impoverished mind that thinks I have the right to take from you, I have the right to enslave you, I have the right to abuse you. But what they're always taking from us is time. The most valuable thing that we have in our life is what law enforcement and other abusers of people's life and harassers of people's life and people who think they're empowered to do things in our life, which they're not, take is time. Time is the most valuable thing we give to another person. They also take our resources by walking through a parking lot trying to solicit you for cash all while their phone is trying to grab out to yours to take information off your bank accounts and whatnot. 